now. In studio is Gregory Waweru, an equities analyst with Kestrel Capital. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. To start us off, uh, East Africa Common Market Protocol commences today. Um, how do you see the market reacting to this news and what impact do you see this having on the East African stock exchanges? Well, definitely this is a very bold move for the region. Um, you realize that now this opens up a very str opens up the region and the companies operating within this within the East African community have now an expanded market and you realize that this is actually a precursor to what is also expected to, to happen to the exchange the harmonizes the harmonization of the exchanges three exchanges um, that is um, Kenya Uganda and Tanzania other top market news emerging today is the KCB rights issue, which uh, commenced trading on the stock exchange today. What are the highlights um, of the opening day? Definitely, we witnessed um, strong underlying demand for the rights. Um, the rights traded, we had about one million rights trading at about one shilling. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, there is market talk that the government um, will come to the market and sell its, its rights at a premium. And also there is speculation that there might be a, another page one seller on the shareholder list who will renounce and uh, speculation it might be the local pension body but that is yet to be confirmed now still sticking with the banking front uh, you recently received uh, yesterday actually released a report on equity bank and you say you recommend accumulate on the equity counter you say you hold the view the, of that the bank is attractive with significant earnings uh, upside expected for the uh, 2011 financial year you expect the bank to outperform its peers as well this year what do, what do you base your recommendation on well definitely you realize that equity bank will will uh, most likely outperform its sector peers this year a uh, very strong growth opportunities for the bank from regional markets and from the rise from rising um, demand for consumer loan products in Kenya well uh, uh, over and above that there is the expectation that transaction incomes will rise significantly over the next uh, two three years because of this we know about the agency banking model and uh, you realize that equity bank now holds uh, fast mover advantage in this growth frontier so basically if you look at the price we base the price um, um, forward earnings at 14 times 14.5 times and at this price we expect um, significant upside in future now another counter that seems to be attracting attention is Kenya power and lighting company what's driving investors towards that counter well, definitely there has been some um, some reaction. Uh, you remember there is uh, the government restructuring, expected government restructuring of the preference shares, but you know we the, the market ha doesn't have information on when this is likely to happen. So for now, investors are just trading the stock. You realize the price was stable, so then again, not so much to comment to comment on that. But uh, the stock was one of the um, st heavily traded counters in today's trading. Now, when we speak to um, a lot of analysts, they say there seems to be there, there's going to be a bit of activity on the equities market, seeing that fund managers are exiting the fixed income front because the rates seem to be coming down, and they're holding on to loads amount of amount of cash that they need to put somewhere. Do you see this money getting into the equities market? Yes, this has actually been happening over the past few months. You realize that. Uh, um, there have been portfolio shifts to the e income market. Local funds have become um, more active in the equities market because um, fixed income yields have really dropped. And um, we, with the low rates of return expected on the fixed income market, it's, it's very, it's, it's very uh, prudent for them to start investing uh, more heavily in the, in the equities market. So that's one of the drivers uh, that has been pushing market activity and uh, pricing at the NSE. And what's your outlook on how the markets will close uh, as we come to the end of the week tomorrow? Well, the, we have a few stocks to watch. That mainly the, the, the ones that will really give, uh, give this market some direction. The trading on the KCB is, set, is one of the pay setters for trading this week. Um, well, of course, the other large caps trading on Equity Bank, Safaricom, and to some extent, you know, might be Kenya Power and a few of the other banks, Cooperative Bank. Um, these are some of the pay setters for the market. But for now, local funds have remained out of the market. I th um, they are still doing, some of them are still doing their report, still in their reporting period. Mm -hmm. And uh, we m we'll also expect foreign investors to maybe start participating because they've shown good interest for the KCB rights offer. But again, they've been holding back probably because of the lag defects of the Eurozone crisis. Thank